What's up, YouTube? It's Q, and let's talk about M8 Raleigh. Stay right there. All right, everybody. So um, the first con of the 2024 season has started to today. I believe so. I can't remember what day this video posted, but it is on um, Anime Con and it is um, held in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, this is part of Galaxy Con's um, subsidiary, I guess you can call it cons, uh, smaller ones, but Galaxy Con is the one that is above it. Just like how you have um, Emerson City and New York Comic Con all were in by uh, Repop. So, yeah. Um, so this is the first year of it, and it's going to be held in Raleigh. Um, tickets. Should be still on sale if you can't get them. And one second, because you need to sit down. <laughs> um, so, as you know, I have a dog, and she is just trying to be seen and heard. It's late, and I think she's getting mad at me because I had the lights on, and she wants to go to bed. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to get to this quick. So, um, if you go to the website, you can buy tickets or whatever, or go in there and buy tickets. Uh, I was approved for press there, so I will be there. Uh, so I'm trying to go through the website here, but let me talk to you about this here though. So of course I got my questions for y'all. I'll be asking y'all. It's weird. Um, it's my alarm for the back door. Um, so I got my questions for y'all to um, ask questions and whatnot. So let's go over some details about the actual con. Um, it's going to be Friday hours. Going to be 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Saturday is going to be 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. And Sunday is going to be 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, that's the hours operation. The exhibition hall is going to be pretty much the same hours as the event hours. Um, so they, they actually have uh, online a little pamphlet that you can go ahead and look at through there. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to go through this right quick. Uh, let's see, where's the guest list at? Um, there we go. So the guest list they're going to have there is going to be um, a lot a lot of people. A lot of people. So I'm going to try to go through some of them. Adam McArthur, um, you know I met him and MomoCon, as well as um, Annie Yoka and uh, KG. I met them all. That's all people who are part of the JoJo Kaisen um, voice actors, which I have actually started watching that um, using Crunchyroll, so I can't get the... English dub, I've been trying to sit down and watch the subtitles, so it's not going to be as fast a watch. Um, speaking of anime, I have started watching, I've been watching One Piece, let me stop lying. Um, I am up to, by now, episode 300 after, as of this recording, hopefully. Um, I should be done with Water 7 by the time this is done, um, so that'd be nice. I uh, actually sit and watch the episodes. Like, it's not too bad. It's just a lot of episodes. And I can see what they were saying about how a lot of it's like filler episodes. And, yeah, it's not it's not bad. I'm not going to tell y'all to go look at it because it's a commitment. You have to sit there and enjoy it and look at it. Um, also, they have uh, the voice actors from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, um, Dane Snyder and David Wilson. Wilson actually created the show. Um of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He's going to be there as well as the uh, voice of Master Shake and the voice of Frylock. I actually got an interview confirmed with him, so I'm going to um, have all an interview with him confirmed. And he's pretty cool. I spoke with him online. And I said, hey, well, let me see you mention these questions. He said, no, don't worry about it. Just, just have fun. Just do it. All right. I'm just used to uh, being required to submit questions before I do it, but yeah. Um, who else is in there? Eric V. I saw him in MLC Comic Con. Um, I'm going to try to reconnect with him. I got his autograph on my My Hero um, pop I had before, the character he played on there, but I got to get one now for him and Sanji from um, One Piece. So I, gotta, I have to get that. And speaking of. Sanji in One Piece, the voice actor for um, Nico Robin is going to be there as well. Let me see if I can find her thing real quick. I mean, they have it all out of orders, which is weird. Um, they have a lot of voice actors. Yeah, uh, Stephanie Young. Stephanie Young's going to be there. She's the voice actor for Robin. They got a couple of Disney characters that are going to be there. The voice for um, 
uh, Thumper, Bell, Gaston, uh, Tinkerbell. The, actually, not not the voice of Tinkerbell, the one who modeled after the, one, the the person they modeled Tinkerbell after, gonna be there. Um, Jason uh, Johnny Young Bios is gonna be there, as you know, he does a lot of voice acting. He also was the Black Ranger, second Black Ranger. Um, Johnny Jeter is gonna be there. He was the voice for the video game voice version of um, Miles Morales. I did an interview with him before at MomoCon. Um, let's see here. We got a couple, a lot of people going to be there. Uh, the voice for Beerus, Justin, uh, Jason Douglas is going to be there. And also, I think I got an interview with him. It wasn't really a yes or no from him. It was like a no problem, which I'm going to go with as a yes. I submitted him the questions already. He hasn't responded back, but it's the holiday season, so we'll see how it is. Um, also, uh, Gary Anthony Williams, the voice for Uncle Ruckus and the Boondocks, he's going to be there. I spoke with him when I was in New York about trying to do an interview then, and he never, we never connected to get it straight, so hopefully I can do it while I'm down there this time around. Um, Phineas Safford, the voice actor's going to be there for them as well. Um, this is a whole lot of people. You just have to go and look at all the people they got going on. Uh, so we're going to get past that. Got, of course, you got some entertainment people going to be there, like uh, musicians and stuff like that. Um, got cosplay meetups on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have to go on there and look at it yourself. There's too much to talk about. Um, they have cosplay contests actually all weekend. So let's go see this real quick. So on um, Friday 6 p.m., Friday at 6.30, the runway cosplay contest. Friday at 10 p.m. is going to be After Dark cosplay contest. Saturday at 8 p.m. is going to be the costume competition. And Sunday at 1.30 is going to be the kids' um, cosplay competition. So it's going to be every day it's going to be a competition. So, yeah, there's going to be like maybe four or five videos alone that I'm going to have to try to work to be good. Um, as I said before this video here that I got three cons this month alone. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how I'm going to get everybody's stuff in a timely manner to be showing I uh, got wrestlers as well that's going to be there, so you can go see them, uh, get autographs from them. Uh, after Dark things as well. They do have something that's a paid item. You have to pay to get into it, so I'm going to see if I can get in with the press pass. Um, the directories up there, the little pamphlet's going to be there. So I only have to have a little pamphlet that I can like, have a hold of, whatever. Um, that's up for the whole family that's fun, like in the family zone. Friday is like free play and uh, four frame animation studio stuff like that. Um, these have to go through. They have family zone stuff. They have a map as well. Uh, Trying to go through this kind of fast because it's gonna be a, it's a lot to cover with this. Um, it's gonna be four levels, from what I can see, um, but two, le three levels, but four. One's gonna be the uh, exhibition floor. And the other one's going to be like the mausoleum, the main stage, and stuff like that. It's going to be on other floors. Uh, let's see, a lot of pro wrestling. Uh, they have a little uh, program for events. As I believe it's on Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, that they are going to do a ribbon um, item there. What, what is it? I can't remember what day it is, but they have a day where. Um, a ribbon exchange, I guess you can call it. The same thing that we did when we was at Dragon Con. So if you are there, look for me because I'm going to give out some ribbons there. Um, a lot of these um, actors, they have the panels is just for them as well too. A lot of Q&A for them. Uh, let's see here. Trying to find... There's so much stuff, y'all. They got so much stuff that's going on. There's not going to be a minute just to, to wait because there's so much stuff that is exciting and to do. Um, of course, they have the after dark items there that you got the 18 and older to go to. And they have a Pokemon Center, which is actually interesting. And I think that's the last page. So, yeah, so you already got the dates for next year put in there, which is going to be the third, January 3rd through the 5th. So, that's actually pretty cool. So, that, yeah, go ahead and grab your tickets now. Um, you can get 25% off the tickets, which is awesome. Now, so I would do them. If you do go there and you like how it is, go ahead and get your tickets for next year in advance. That way you can enjoy yourself. 25% um, off is real good, especially with the ticket prices these days for cons. Um, 
They have also had the listings of the other cons they have going on. Like Galaxy Con, Richmond is going to be in March. Um, Oakland City is going to be in May. They're going to do an MA Con in Columbus in July. Raleigh is going to have their Galaxy Con in July as well. Um, Galaxy Con San Jose and so on and so on. So, yeah, they have a lot with Galaxy Con going on. Like Repop has a couple things in control as well. Um, look for me there. It's going to be my first time. It'll be pretty much everybody's first time there. Um, I will definitely be at the ribbon exchange area so you can grab one of my ribbons. I have different ribbons I got coming out. I'm not going to show you them now because I'm trying to work on them and have them ready for the event. Um, of course, I'm going to have one that can have my name on it. And then plus, I got a couple that says like little things on it that make you smile. So it's a lot. It's a lot for y'all to pick from. And I hope to see y'all there. Um, you can follow my social medias. I would say use my TikTok. Honestly, it's the best way to know what's going on because I will post things on my TikTok before anything else. Um, I will have to do edit the videos I do for content-wise when I can. Um, I try to... I try to edit videos the day of, but a lot of times I have to wait to the week before, a week after, just to get time to actually sit and look at what I'm looking at. Excuse me. So, I just as I said before in the beginning of the video, I guess it's time for me and my dog to go to sleep. So, we're going to cut this short. Thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all there. Y'all behave.